For this Inventor tutorial, we're going to be looking at the uh, making a little dumper truck. This is a child's toy, so the scale of it is actually quite small. Um, and I'm going to just use the shift key and the middle mouse button to allow you to sort of see. Uh, we've got three parts to it. We've got the wheel, the body, and the, the sort of the, the dumper bit of it, the, the contains at the back. And it's got a pivoting point here where you can actually cause the dumper bit to lift up based around its constraints, the way it's locked into position. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating the body. Um, and there are some important measurements. So, for example, the wheels have to marry up with the wheel arches. Uh, and the bit at the back obviously has to connect properly. So that those are a couple of key dimensions. But the other ones are generally quite good. Now we're going to do this by mirroring it. So we're going to draw this in the first half and we're then going to duplicate that half on the other side and um, see what we get quite quickly. All right, so we're going to go File, New, Standard Millimeter Part, making sure that I'm metric, that's really important, and then Create. Okay, now um, that's my blank work area. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch. So, um, hang on, sorry, file new standard millimeter part. I think I created an assembly there. Standard millimeter part, create. There we go. Um, so, my options are I can either use this start 2D sketch up here, or I'm actually going to right click and do new sketch there. Okay, now sometimes I draw up and down, so as though I'm working on a table. This time, because it's a little dumper truck, I'm going to draw the side profile. So I'm going to use my YZ plane. If I click on that, I'm now in sketch mode. So I'm holding the middle mouse button to navigate around my page. I'm going to begin my drawing at the origin, at the dot there. I'm going to draw out, up across etc. Okay, so I'm going to use the straight line tool. Now having drawn this before I know that I know the sizes I'm looking for so I'm going to click, I'm going to drag across and at the moment this box below isn't giving me a measurement that I'm after so I'm going to type in 62, 62 millimeters and then press enter. All right and that's now giving me a line which is the correct length and after that I can just visually guess uh, roughly how big it's going to be. So I'm going to draw the back of it, uh, I'm going to make that about 12, press enter, then I'm going to come across about, um, but not about exactly 30 and press enter. So you can see that I'm actually entering those numbers as I go. Sometimes what I do is I draw roughly and then change the dimensions afterwards. But uh, for this today, I'm going to do it this way. Um, I think I'm going to come up by 15 there. And across. And these two, I'm going to just make that look like the front of a truck. So I'm not going to worry about getting that absolutely perfect with measurements. And then press cancel. So what I did there is I right clicked and cancel. So that gives me a sort of trucky profile. The important bit for me was that I had a length that I know works and a height and back that works. Anything apart from that doesn't really matter. All right, and so I'm gonna now finish my sketch, press the green tick. And the next thing I'm gonna do to make it 3D, hopefully you might be able to remember from previous tutorials, is to actually extrude that. So if I right click and extrude, it automatically assumes that I'm gonna do that one, that profile. Remember, if there are any gaps or any lines that were overlapping, that can cause you a problem. I'll just give you an example of that. I'll come back into my sketch. If I delete that line, if it's gonna let me. Right, so I've deleted that line. So if I now finish that sketch again and try and extrude it, okay, it's not going to let me have a solid 
it will extrude a line but it's not a solid object okay so what I'm going to do there I'm going to go back into my sketch edit my sketch and draw that line back in okay now if you've got lines that are overlapping so for example this bit here I might use the trim tool which is up at the top and that will just get rid of bits that are sticking past okay so again let me just draw a line and show you that so I could trim off where these overlap I could trim either that bit or that bit or in fact that bit in between so I use the trim tool you can see how I can just trim away a part if I need to okay but anyway we were, we were happy with that profile I'll just show you the trim tool and the, and the importance of getting what we call a valid profile so if I finish that sketch alright and now what I'm going to do is do the extrusion and we're going to extrude that by uh, I need to get this right 12.5 12.5 millimeters okay um, and at the moment that's quite a, quite a sort of clunky chunky sort of shape but that's absolutely fine for what I'm doing now the next thing I'm going to do so far we've done sketches which are on work planes they're those um, planes that we see there but this time I'm going to do a sketch on the side of the object so I'm going to right click and do new sketch select the face and then I'm going to do um, start the sketch so I'm now sketching on the side of the object and what I'm going to do is two circles now these circles are going to be the wheel arches they're going to hold a 15 millimeter a 14 millimeter wheel so I'm going to make the diameter of them 16 and when I do my next one if I click on the bottom I can also type in 16 okay now I could if it was if it was critical I could dimension that and I could make the distance between those an exact measurement okay I don't know if you noticed but that circle there just moved in a little bit all right I'm going to trim off the bottom because I only want the top half so if I click on my trim tool okay the little bit that's left there isn't actually part of the wheel it's it's part of the dimension so you don't need to worry about that okay and then remember we need a valid profile and at the moment I've just got rid of my middle line so I'm going to just draw that back in click there click there click there click there you'll notice that I cancelled in between so I didn't end up drawing a line there accidentally and now I'm going to finish the sketch so I've got on my shape a semicircle with a line at the bottom of it so if I now go right click and extrude I can choose that profile and that profile and it will do the last amount that I, I extruded by if you remember was 12.5 for these I'm going to come out by 3 and green tick All right. I'm actually going to go through that whole process again because I think you might might need a, another look at that All right. so I'm going to delete that whole lot okay so a reminder what I did is I selected the face right click new sketch circle tool click and drag out 16 press enter click and drag out press 16 and then enter I use the trim tool to get rid of the bit at the bottom so I'm now just left with an arc I'm going to use the line tool click and join that up now if I carry on over to here which I want to do it's going to join it up so I'm going to cancel there then I'm going to go back to my line click click and cancel now I could I will choose the middle of that one 
in the middle of that one and I'm clicking clicking at the beginning clicking at the end then dragging out still holding my mouse button and I'm going to change that to 30 and press enter okay and then that was followed by remember I green tick there followed by um, extrude I'm going to extrude that profile there and that profile there and it's remembered my previous measurement of three if it doesn't say three make it three and then I'm going to green tick so there's a lot of my little little truck body all right so now I need the next bit which if I go back to my dumper together has it's got a little tab on the back that I'm using to locate to so I'm going to draw that now all right and that's going to be uh, I'm going to draw using my planes and if you look, I'm going to choose the one. If you can't see them, you might have to open that up. That YZ plane is on the side of, on the flat side of that. Okay. So I'm going to right click, new sketch. Okay. Now with the rectangle tool, I'll start at the back there. I'm going to draw out. And it can be, um, have I given myself a height? I'm going to make it 15 high. And I'm going to go to my dimension tool. And I'm going to click and drag on that line. And I'm going to make that 10. Okay. And I'm going to finish that sketch. So if you remember what I did there is that I did a I chose the YZ plane and then did right click new sketch in order to draw that there. All right, so now what I can do is I can extrude it. And we'll extrude that by um 5 and green tick it. All right, now at the moment that's all very boxy. So the next thing I'm going to do is to use my filleting tools. All right, and my fillet is, is a curve. So the first thing I'm going to choose is the top of this. And I'm going to give it a fillet of five. And I'm going to choose the other one there, five, and green tick. Okay, so that's now rounded that off at five. Now that's that's quite a big fillet. My next fillets are going to be smaller because I'm going to round off bits of the truck and make it make it look a bit better. So I'm going to go to my fillet tool. I'm going to change those this time to let's go to three. And I'm going to choose a lot of my top faces. Um, let's try these sides as well. I think soften it all up and then green tick and then finally I'm going to just try rounding in where my wheel arches meet my um, vehicle but that's going to be we'll try two okay I did there the back edge where it meets the car and also the the front edge of it and then I'm going to green tick that okay so I've now got an object there now I've realized since I've started this that I've actually made that extrusion much thicker than I want it to be now you might remember from other tutorials I can go back in and I can edit that I made that five but I'd forgotten I'm going to mirror this so I actually want that to be 2.5 so what I'm going to do I'm going to find that extrusion it's not those it's not that one it's that one extrusion 4 I'm going to right click and edit feature now you'll use this a lot edit feature or edit sketch quite a lot this is the edit the feature I came out 5 and I'm going to change it now to 2.5 tick okay so so far so good 
nearly there. Now there are two more processes to do, and these next two are, I think are really really good ones. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that object and we're going to mirror it. So I'm going to take part three, and I'm going to mirror it. Okay. So it's asking me for the features. Can I select the whole part? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of these bits. So I'm holding down the shift key to select all of those there. And then my mirror plane is this is your axis of reflection or your, your point of reflection. And it gives me a little preview so I can OK that. And so what that's now given me is a dumper truck profile. Okay. Now I'm going to convert that into a material, which is I'm going to choose um, high density polyethylene, which is a plastic that we use or a polymer that we use all the time. HDPE, high density polyethylene. I'm going to click on that. And choose a color. Sorry, bear with me a second. I'm going to go for a I'm going to go for a red. So we've got its polyethylene high density. I'm going to change the colour of it to red. So I'm going to choose part three. Part three and then red. Alright, so at the moment this is still very solid. And then the final thing I'm going to do is to use my shell tool which I used earlier, which is sitting up here. One millimeter and I click on the bottom face and green ticket. Okay, so that's now given me my open model, like a vacuum forming of the dump truck body. Okay, now I know there's quite a lot of processes in there um, you might need to rerun those a few times, but it's a matter of doing sketches. It's quite simple once you once you've done it a couple of times. So don't don't get overwhelmed with it. Um, have a go, and then obviously make sure you do file, save as. Make sure you know where you're saving it to. So I'm going to just make sure I've got mine. So I'm going to call that body version 2. You've got to make sure you know where you save these things. Okay, so good luck with that.